Well, all the answers were correct. All of these are ways that mutations can change a phenotype even though they're not in a coding sequence. Now, what we've done, we've talked about the important functions that non-coding sequences can have. All of these functions can be changed and destroyed by mutations. So regulatory sequences, recognition sequences in DNA, such as transcription factor binding sites, genes for the transfer RNAs and ribosomal RNAs that function in protein synthesis, and genes for other kinds of functional and regulatory RNAs. Now, this isn't an exhaustive sequence. There's lots of other sequences that don't code for protein but have important functions in DNA, but we don't have time to talk about all of them. Now, coming up next, we're going to talk about other causes of mutation. So far, we've just thought about mutations caused by errors by DNA polymerase, but there's a lot of other ways that DNA sequences can change, and we'll talk about those in Lecture 3, Lecture 2G. I hope to see you there.